Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a website review of a place where you can sell your artwork online. If you are new to my channel, I would encourage you to check out my channel page where I have a lot of other reviews of websites where you can sell your artwork online. Um, some of those websites include Fine Art America, ArtPal, Etsy, Redbubble, Society6, and a bunch more. Um, in this video, we are going to be looking at traderspace.io. Um, Trader Space did approach me to and sponsor me for this video, so I thank them for that and um, it, it was an awesome opportunity to check out their platform and I hope that the information that I give you today will help you out in deciding whether you should check out um, Traderspace.io or not. I do want you to know that the information that I will give you here is still my honest opinion. I give some positives, I give some negatives, um, but overall it is a positive sentiment. Uh, if you want to read this article instead of watching the video, check out the link in my description below to the written article um, of that. I go into more depth on a couple of things in the written article that I won't really talk about too much here on this video. Um, just to start, I wanted to go through some pros and cons. So here is a pros and cons list I will put up on the screen here. Just a quick little overview. So some pros are a free membership option. Um, the subscription option that they do have is fairly cheap. There's no commission fees. They are there to support growth of artists and they have a great customer support. Some of the cons that I've seen so far are statistics and analytics are kind of lacking in some aspects. Um, they're still in the alpha and beta phase, so everything isn't perfect. Uh, one thing I noticed is that credit card info must be given even for the free account and some navigation through the website can be a little bit tricky at first. Um, so yeah, just a few things before we jump into the website. They are still in, as I said, kind of the alpha beta phase of um, development. So there's a lot of features that are still growing. Um, there's a lot of growth that they're planning for in the future that I will talk about in this video. Part of that though that is nice is they're really looking for the input of their users so that they can make their website the most user friendly possible. And so some of the things that I've kind of talked about that or that I will talk about in this video that I think are could be improved upon, that will be some of the feedback I give to um, the founders of traderspace.io. Um, so below you'll also find a bunch of timestamps if you're looking for something specific like how to upload an artwork, how to edit an artwork, um, how to register, where to find the help center, anything like that. You check the timestamps below in the description. You might find what you're looking for a little bit faster than just watching the whole thing. I've got my notes in front of me here so I don't miss anything. Um, so yeah, let's just get into a little bit a little bit more about what Trader Space is. So it's owned by an Australian tech startup called Open Air Apps. Um, they launched TraderSpace.io in 2019, um, but from what I understand and from what I've seen, um, they're really working more on getting that platform um, to grow uh, right now. So it's a universal trading and selling platform that is said to be a hybrid between Etsy, eBay, and Gumtree. Um, I've used Etsy and eBay. I haven't used Gumtree, so you can kind of get the feel there. Their goal is to be able to, is to be able to provide people with a cost-effective way to do business. Um, it's not meant only for established businesses. It's meant for hobbyists as well, or startup businesses, um, anything. At this point, so I'm filming this in December of 2021. As I said before, they're in that alpha beta phase of production. Um, there are a lot of pros to that, which I will talk about when it comes to the subscription fees and some of the features there. Um, and they'll be moving to the more to the beta to the final phases um, in 2022, from what I've been told. Right now they have just under 300 registered accounts that may have grown in the last couple of weeks as I've been making this um, video. Um, and probably by the time you watch this, that will have changed as well. Um, this is very small compared to some platforms. Some other ones, such as Fine Art America, has thousands, if not tens of thousands, of registered accounts. But uh, don't think that necessarily as a negative thing. If you can get in on the ground floor, get in at the beginning, then I think this will um, continue to grow and that will really help you out. Um, one of the main questions that I always get is, you know, what can I sell? Well, on Trader Space, you can sell just about anything. It isn't just for artists. Trader Space, you can sell your artworks. You can sell 
um, services. You can sell cars, you can sell real estate, you can sell clothing, you can sell really just about anything, um, which kind of makes it unique. Um, Trader Space doesn't have a print on demand service like a lot of websites or platforms that are specifically made for selling artwork. I don't think that's a positive or a negative thing necessarily. Uh, print on demand services uh, work for some websites, they don't work for other ones. In my experience, print on demand services um, usually you don't usually get much back for it, or if you do, um, then the prices of your prints or whatever your products are have to be quite high in order for you to actually make a profit. Um, you can still sell your own prints or your own products with your artwork on them through trader space it's just they won't do the production and shipping for you you have to do your own um, in that sense and if you're wondering who who can sell on trader space pretty much anybody you can the registration process is pretty easy we're going to go through that in just a minute here um, but uh, that's kind of the basics about trader space we're going to switch over here i'm going to show their website we're going to go through a bunch of different um scenarios we're going to look at how to register how to create what's called a trader space how to upload an artwork or a product how to edit it um, i'll go through how to find the faqs um, the help center and then um, towards the end i will give my full review of each of these as i go through each topic though i am going to talk about each of them kind of how i feel about them and yeah then we'll go from there so let's switch over and go on to their website all right, here we are on the traderspace.io homepage. Pretty basic homepage. It's nice and simple, which I like. Um, when you first come onto it, it'll probably ask you to um, give your location, and um, feel free to do that. I will show you why that could be important later on. Um, here you can see there's the about page. You can begin searching for products, and you can also create your own trader space right there. You can do that in the top right corner, or you can also hit this little my account button here and that's where you can sign in or sign up pretty straightforward there's some of the featured artworks that you can um, have as a part of your trader plus account and the, some of those were artworks there but they could be other products as well and that kind of goes all the way down here to the bottom and that'll keep on going as you scroll down at the very bottom, you can see it's powered by open air apps, like I said before, and you can see their social links there. Um, yeah, so if you are wanting to create your own account, you can hit create trader space there, there, or sign up here. When you click on that, we'll click on one here and see where it takes us. I've already gone through this once, but I thought I would show it to you here. This is where you can log in with Facebook, Google, or you can um, sign in with your own account. If you hit sign up, then you can do that the exact same thing with those ones. So I'm going to just sign in here. Let that sign me in. <clears throat> and this is what you'll be taken to when you first sign in. Here you can see I have a, what's called a trader space made. So a trader space is like a shop front, um, a storefront, you know, where people will come to look at your items. So I just have one trader space made because I just deal mainly with artwork. Even though my artwork, you know, I have different styles of artwork, it's still all art, so I want to keep it in one, in one storefront. Maybe you might do a variety of things, so you can feel free to... <coughs> um, add more than one trader space if you have a trader plus account um, and you could have maybe you do mechanics or something and you want to offer mechanical services and then you're an artist on the side too and then you want to have an art storefront just for example i don't know but you could have more than one trader space with the trader plus account um, if you want I, it, just to create your trader space let's say i wanted to add a trader space here let me click on this here It might ask me to be a, um, oh, there we go. No, you're good. So you're going to select your shop language. I'm going to go just to English here. And I am Canadian, so I'm going to go with the Canadian dollar. But you can see there's all the different 
types there. There's even Bitcoin. Uh, I don't want to say it wrong. Ethereum. I thought there was one other one that looked different, but maybe not. No, just those two. There isn't every country on there, but there there are quite a few, which is is nice. And this is going to take you through step by step. You can enter your shop name, enter a description. You can add your banner. Um, I'm just going to say here trial because I, I, I won't actually save this in the end. I'm not going to upload a banner, but it gives you some resolution sizes that will look good for um, that type of banner. And here you can choose how you want to get paid. So there's cash, there is bank transfer, PayPal, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. I think that's what the last one is. Hopefully I'm saying that right. You can let me know in the comments. Um, you can decide how you want to get paid. So for me personally, I just go with PayPal and cash. And for cash, I just make it so it's on, if somebody's picking up an order, they can pay me cash when they pick it up. And then you can put in your PayPal email address there as well. It might not let me continue if I didn't put an email address in there, we'll see. Yeah, I didn't like that. We're just gonna take that off of there. But that's where you can add your types of payments that you want. Oh, okay, we'll take that off. We'll just say I'm accepting cash payments for this one. Then you can say where you're located. And this is an important part of Trader Space, something I didn't really talk about at the beginning in the About section. But one thing that I really like about Trader Space is they try to focus a lot on um, not necessarily buying local, but knowing where you're purchasing from. So you can put all of that in here. Um, that's kind of the last step as you can see here. So I'm going to just go back here and cancel everything I've done because I'm not going to save this. But that's where you're able to, um, people are able to search you by your location. Um, that isn't necessarily something that I've seen a lot of other sites do. It is possible on websites like Etsy or um, maybe Fine Art America, but the other one's not really at all. Um, you mainly just search by keywords on a product that you're looking for. So I'm going to go here. If you ever get lost, you can always just hit view my trader space. And there we go. I'm going to go in here and delete this one. If you ever need to delete a trader space, all you have to do, click is view my trader space. And I'm going to delete that one there. There we go. So I just have my one, my Brian Sloan artist one set up here. So if you want to see what people are going to be looking at when they look at your profile, let's just click on this one here. It's going to take me to a new tab, as you can see. Right now I have a community rank of 27. I didn't know that. Um, I need to fix my um, banner photo a little bit. It's, I've got my name right, but the rest of it's kind of off-centered there. Um, I just have a short description here. I offer original artwork along with G clay prints and handmade paint by number kits. And I'm also very new to Trader Space, as I mentioned. I've only been on it for a few weeks now, and it's been a very busy time of year. We're in December right now, leading up to Christmas, so I haven't had a lot of time to um, upload a lot of my products. I've just uploaded one, so I know what the process is like, and we're going to upload another one today um, so you can see that process. Um, but this is where people can see your products and um, it says here that this trader space has been viewed two times in the past week you know what that's actually more than what I thought <laughs> so let's go in here and let's upload an artwork or a product for me it's gonna be an artwork so you can hit view my trader space and go down to the edit button below your trader space or your shop front
here it's gonna once you have your trader space set up your step one is going to be done that's where you can but if you need to change your location you can go in and change your location if you need to change any information your description your um, banner display anything like that that's where you can go and change that step two it says almost there create your listings that's where you can go in and add more listings or edit current listings so I'm gonna hit change there and it's going to take me to this new page and there you can see I have one of my my one um, listing there so it says create up to 15 listings for free as part of the base subscription further listings can be purchased as required so I'm going to hit add a new listing and let's see what the, how this process is here you go this kind of gives you a feel for trader space as well sell lending or service well, I'm selling something, so I'm going to click on selling. But you can see already the um, variety of things that can be sold on Trader Space. This second screen here is going to take you to photos. So I'm going to add some photos. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to add in a paint by number kit. And so here is a grain elevator paint by number kit that I do and I just tried to upload all of them at the same time and it's not going to let me so I'm going to do them one at a time here which is fine and we'll do this one next and that one last note though if you want to um, change any just make sure that you have your primary photo is uploaded first as you saw me do there and then the order of the uh, of how you want them after that so there I have my images I could have added another one you can have five photos in total for this one I'm good with just four so I'm just gonna stick with that sorry my internet seems to be a little bit slow today I would encourage you to have more photos of your products, whatever they may be, whether it be art or other products. Um, as you know, people, if they're able to see more angles or whatever, that's that's kind of what you want. All right, here you can add some of the details about your product. So here it says listing name, name your product or service, tip, use keywords to help buyers find your listings easily. So here I'm just going to say grain elevator um, paint by number kit and then description describe the details of your product or service add as much detail as possible to help your buyers um, for the sake of this video I'm not going to make it extremely long but I'll just say that this is a handmade paint by number kit it includes everything you need to create your own masterpiece. Normally I would include everything like here's what's included, here's how long it'll take to make it, things like that. Um, so here you can make it featured. So if I make it featured right now because we're in the beta phase um, of the website, it, it isn't costing anything. Um, later on that will be part of the Trader Plus account that is $10 a month. Um, and it's not $10 a month per listing it, your your subscription is $10 a month and it will just be included in there you can also say here if it's not safe for work you can select the condition of it so it is new so I'm just gonna say new it's a physical item that you're receiving not a digital one but you can sell digital products as you can see here category so category for me um, let's see what we got here it is it is art but it's not really antiques and collectibles let's see what other ones we got here this is the first time I've uploaded a paint by number kit here let's see what happens if we go under home and gardening it is a DIY so we're gonna go with that we're gonna do that we'll see how that goes then you can add 13 tags and tags as you know if you've done anything about selling art online are important for people to help find your work so I'm gonna say grain elevators 
acrylic painting, paint by number, um, do it yourself, art, original art, um, what else can I say? I said grand elevators already. Some people might search for silos even though they're a little bit different. You probably have better um, tags in mind than I do right here. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'll, I'll put some more in later once I can think of some better ones. Um, here you can also add in an FAQ section. I actually kind of like this part because it allows you to answer a lot of questions that people might have. So for me, um, it might be how long is the processing time? The answer, one to two weeks. If you want to add another one. People would ask what kind of paint is used. And I'll say Liquitex Basics Acrylic Paint. Um, I think that's all I have right now. But you can add, you know, anything. You'll know your, your products better than me and you can add whatever uh, questions you feel necessary. From there you can hit continue. Inventory pricing, so my price, uh, set your set the price of your listing, the price will be set in US dollars, which will then be converted and displayed in relevant, relevant local currency. So mine, you can, you can see where I'm hovering there, it's Canadian there. So I charge $30 Canadian, and I will accept cash or PayPal. So if you've set that up in your trader space like we did at the very beginning, here you can select which ones you'll accept for that product specifically. So maybe for certain products you don't want to accept certain type of payments, that's fine. Here you can select it specifically for each. And quantity of these, well, I just make them as they're ordered, so I'm just going to say 15. And I don't have an SKU. All right, delivery, I will ship them and people can pick them up. Um, I'm not going to do drop-offs. Here you say where it, the shipment is coming from. So it's coming from Canada. Your processing time for these, for me, they are one to two weeks. And here you can add in your shipping costs. So if I'm shipping to Canada, um, my shipping is $20. Every additional item is $5. Um, if I'm shipping to the United States, it is the same which is kind of funny that in Canada I can ship things just as cheap to the US. And then I'm just gonna say everywhere else because anywhere else off of the North American continent is a lot more. And unfortunately it actually works out to be like $35 for each thing plus an additional five for each. As you can see here, a free shipping badge will be added to the listing. The free shipping search filter will help buyers find this listing. So some people, what they do is they will include the price of shipping into their product price so they can have something be free shipping. Feel free to do that if you want. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I'm just going to leave it like this. You can, as you saw there, you can add locations for as many as you want. Um, maybe if you're in Europe, there's a lot of different countries that are close that it wouldn't be much to ship to. There we go. That listing is up there. So it's already converted it to Australian dollar because this is an Australian company. Um, but whoever's viewing it, if they have an account made with their currency, that's the currency that they will see it in. So that's how you add a new listing. If you want to edit a previous listing, listing previous listing, 
you can just go to the same page, hit edit, and then it'll take you through each of those steps again, and you just change what you want to change. It has all that previous information there that you've inserted before, um, but yeah, you can just change what you need to change. Um, that's kind of one of my negatives about it is if you want to change, for example, the shipping of it, you have to hit next all the way to the end. You can't just you know, hit edit here and then it takes you right to a place where you can skip to the shipping. You got to click through everything else beforehand. I like it on websites where they have everything in one place, all the product information at one place, and you can do everything on one page. I understand that some people might like the step by step. This is just my personal opinion. All right. Um, you can also disable products here and delete them. Disabling just makes them so they're not viewed, but they're still there if you wanted to add it later. Um, or maybe you're making edits on it or something and it's just a draft that you have up you can disable it for the time being and then enable it later and you can see the little icons below saying what kind of payments you you are willing to receive for that product so I'm just going to hit continue there and this takes you to the third step of setting up your trader space in general you can get notifications. I just do notifications by email. I don't like getting texts or anything like that. And then you can also set up here, featured trader space. Right now it's it's free. So you can you could do that if you want, or trader space announcements, anything like that. And then you can add more listings to your shop. But right as of now I'm not I'm not doing anything. Um, with mine and then the last one here when you hit continue that's how you're gonna set up your payments and this is where you add your credit card I'm gonna just block this page out because it has some of my credit card information on it um, that's where, yeah you can add that there's also a thing called community gold that I'll talk about in a minute and then it goes through and gives you a payment summary a total cost for the month if you owe anything if you have the trader plus account or if you have um, featured listings or anything like that, this is where that all shows up for you. All right, and once you're done setting everything up again, it just brings you back to this. Now you can see my second product is there. And yeah. This is where people can also find you through email, Facebook, Twitter, Messenger, Link, all that kind of stuff. All right, what I want to kind of talk about a little bit now is just um, exactly what you get for the Trader Space Plus and um, the tra Trader Space Basic account. So if you click on this little eye up here, that's actually like the help page, the help center. You can see there, the little help center thing came up. You can search for things here. You can ask the community for help. You can raise a ticket and let them help as well. Um, but if you scroll down, there's some knowledge base, just some basic stuff. Using Trader Space, managing your account, tips and tricks, safety and security rules, policies and terms. But let's just go to using Trader Space and click here on Trader Space Costs. So here you can see Trader Space, you can have a free account limited to one Trader Space with 10 listings. Looking at this now, on my actual profile, it said I had 15. Here it's giving me 10. I might ask them to see which one is which, and I, I'll let you know. The Trader Plus is $10 a month, as I mentioned um, a few times here. So you get unlimited Trader Spaces per profile unlimited listings, unlimited featured trader space, where your trader space can be featured on the homepage, and unlimited featured listings, where your listings can also be featured on the homepage or just around the trader space website. And then you also get announcements, and that's where you can reach out to your followers or anything like that, and um, it seems to be a pretty good thing. So my thoughts on this subscription, $10 a month honestly isn't that bad because many other websites will take a commission for any sales that you make. Trader Plus is just $10 a month flat fee. There's no commission. The more you sell, the more you make, not the more the company makes, which um, to me is a huge step forward. And $10 a month 
isn't really that much considering what you're getting for it. And it allow, like with the free account, they allow you to give it a try. Maybe it's working for you and you're, you're going to be interested in a $10 a month. Then you can do it. If you give the free one a try for a little bit and it isn't working out for you, then you didn't lose any money on it, which I really like. Um, here they talk a little bit about the alpha and beta release costs. So during our earlier access phase, your trader space is 100% free. And then later on, it'll be $10 a month. But they're, they're going to let you know when that happens. And you could turn off some of those features if you don't want to pay for them later. <clears throat> All right. Um, another big question that people always ask is, um, how and when do I get paid? <laughs> seems to be a big one. What, when's the money coming and where's it coming from? I believe it is down here. Um, I'll just talk about it. I don't know exactly where it is on this website. Um, so you can be paid, you know, depending on how you set it there. You saw when I was setting up my um, products there that I set it up that I want to be paid either with cash or with PayPal. So that's how I'm going to get paid. When am I going to get paid? As soon as the transaction happens. Or if it's by cash, if I set at pickup, then that's when that will happen. Trader Space isn't one of those websites where it has a 30-day grace period where they want the product to be delivered, they want everything to be fine for 30 days before you get paid, and then they pay on like the first of the month or the second of the month. That's how some of those websites work. And sometimes it's taken me almost two months to get paid for something that I've sold on those websites, which is, I mean, that's all, that's fine, but it is a little bit annoying as well. With Trader Space, you get paid right away. It's, you know, it's directly from the customer to you. There's really no middle. They're just kind of there as the facilitator and just allow that money to be transferred through PayPal or through bank transfer or whatever you're doing. So that is also a big plus, um, in my opinion. Yeah, so I guess continuing with that, when you sell a product, um, it just, it's between you and the customer. It's not, I'm just going to go back here to my page. It's, it has nothing to do really with trader space. They're just, they're just facilitating the discovery of your products to the people. <clears throat> On that frequently asked questions page, sorry, I'm going to jump back here. I'm just looking at my list of questions that I answered in my article. Um, one thing that I do like is there is a community. Right now, it's very small because not this is just a growing community, but there people can post and um, get help with certain things and discussion can happen as you can see suggestions blogs and stories and all of that stuff which is really nice um everything's there i think that i've already talked about one thing that i haven't talked about though is the community gold so the community gold is kind of like um almost like uh their own currency i guess you could say I think they have that down here. So community gold is, yeah, it's just their own currency. So you can refer somebody and if they sign up and purchase a subscription, then you will receive 7,000 or sorry, 700 community gold, which can cover the cost of one month for a trader space, which is kind of nice. Um, community gold is also used as a metric for your ranking, but it's important to note here that as it says there, if you use your community gold, then that ranking will go down, which I kind of find weird. Like if I've earned the gold and I've used it, should I be penalized for that? <clears throat> but that's neither here nor there, nor there. A lot of people ask me if I've sold anything on trader space. As you can see right now, no, I haven't. But I've only been on it for a short while. Once I actually get the time, hopefully over uh, the Christmas holidays here, that I'll actually be able to upload more of my products and um, be able to see more. 
about what's going on on that that way. All right, I would, I'm just going to go back to the home page here. <clears throat> From the home page, maybe you want to see what you search for something. You can see all the different types of products you can search for. Maybe I'm looking for, I want to see if my own product shows up. Let's go just Lake Moraine. We're just going to search that. I probably should have put Moraine Lake. There we go. Okay, so that has shown up. And you can see to the right here that a map has shown up and it shows where I'm selling that product from. Now, maybe for some people they don't like this, but I think this is such a sweet idea. It, when I first came on to Trader Space, it reminded me of Airbnb because <laughs> they're, they're a similar platform in the sense that when you search, a map shows up because you want to see where you're looking for a place to stay. Here, instead, you're looking for a service, products, um, lending things, and especially for services or lending things, you're going to want local local people because you need to pick it up so that's what you can see you can toggle whether you want to show the map or not but maybe I'm just gonna search for nothing and it's gonna show here there we go so in this area currently right now it shows my two products and my trader space so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit And we're going to see, let's see what happens if I go all the way out here. There we go. So now we've got some more spots. You can see here we've got one that looks like in Greece, one in South Africa. We're going to zoom all the way out and give it a second to find itself. And there are more down in Australia. It is an Australian company. So let's zoom in here on Australia and see what happens. There we go. So you can see the different areas where people's trader spaces are set up. And it looks like right here we have some, quite a few artists actually, which is awesome. Um, since I'm an artist myself. Custom hand tufted Nike shoebox rug. There you go. So there's some rugs. There's some different stuff going on here. I love this idea of having a map. I think it makes it easier to connect with the customers make you feel like if if you are the customer that you're connecting to um, the person who you are buying from who you are searching from and you know maybe someone from australia wants to see if they can buy something from someone i don't know let's go to the there we go oh it wasn't greece looks like it's in uh turkey being able to see like obviously you can read in a description where somebody is from but just being able to see see it on a map i don't know there's just a little added feature to it so i, I love that aspect of um of this website um looking through my questions i've got most of them answered actually which is nice again you can See, you can search by product there. As you can see, Trader Space is still, um, still growing. There, they are very new, um, getting on a, on the ground floor. Is probably a good idea, if if this is something you're you're willing to invest a little bit of time in uploading your artworks. Because I know uploading products to a new website <laughs> takes a lot of time, um, and you don't want to waste your time on things that don't seem good. Um, so I just want to kind of close this part before I um, we log off of this video, and we'll we'll um, I'll just add some closing remarks, just saying that the layout of this website I do I do like it for the majority. I like this map part as I just kind of talked about for quite a bit. Um, here you can access your profile. Oh, I guess I didn't really mess mention this. Uh, messages so you can directly message 
uh, cust- or customers can directly message you if they have questions, which is really nice. I know it's easy to have your contact information on your profile or have them go to social media, but just taking that one step closer to you by having a messaging system on um, the website, I think is really important. There you can see notifications for your uh, trader spaces or announcements if you have any trades, the community, your settings and privacy. That's where you can go in and, you know, change your email address or anything like that. And you can also sign out from there. Overall, it's pretty simplistic, which is nice. Um, The only thing that I wish that would be a little bit easier to get to is editing products or adding products. Um, It's a little bit of a stretch there. Once you know it, it's fine. It's just a few extra clicks. And then just their analytics. They don't really have an analytics here. If I just click on trades um, zero, you'll see here, you know, it tells me what I've done here. Nothing there, which is fine. Like that's, that's what I've done. If I just go to my dashboard here, And so it says one trader space active, two active listings, total visitors six. Um, but it's not, it, it looks like here, it'll give you a decent statistics of products that have sold, but it doesn't give you statistics of, you know, I don't know. Obviously, I only, have, I only had one listing before this, so the six visitors had visited the one product but it doesn't tell me that if I had more products up beforehand and I had six visitors, I don't know which product they're looking at. So I don't know which ones I've done right and which ones I might need to work on the keywords a little bit more or the tags or anything like that. So I wish that was, if that that was updated a little bit better. And yes, I need to update this dashboard or banner photo. My resolution wasn't correct (laughs) on this one. All right, we're going to exit off here. I'm going to add some Um, closing words here and that will be it thanks for watching the video this far maybe you just skipped to this point that's totally fine as I was closing that website area there it kind of made me realize um, the simplicity of the website there are a few navigational points that I kind of talked about and I will talk about again here that are slightly more complex but overall the trader space website is very simple and straightforward, uh, which is very nice. There's not a lot of bells and whistles all around, distracting you all around. Overall, it's a pretty good, pretty good layout. So I just wanted to here just kind of go through some of the pros and cons in a little bit more depth about how I feel about this website. And then that'll be it. So I got my notes here. I'm going to make sure I look through each of these. So I've already talked a little bit about the layout, layout, um, but I. Again, I'm just going to say I love how you can see the products and the services based on the location with the map. I think that connection with person to place, product to place, I don't know. It just really touches home for me. I, I love that. I love that idea. Um, again, it's their homepage is pretty simple. Too often websites are trying to jam pack too much stuff on there. I, I, like, I like their um, layout. The one thing that I think could be improved about the layout, I don't know if I mentioned this in earlier, but just the footer. It's, it seems kind of weird, but I do like websites where the footer, it has, you know, a quick link to the FAQ page, a quick link to the sign-in page, a quick link to the about page, a quick link, I don't know, to all the different parts of the website. Because usually when I'm in doubt on other websites, I will scroll down to the bottom and I can usually find exactly what I'm looking for there. Not saying that they have to fix it, but that's just something that I noticed compared to other websites. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about the website layout. I'm um, talking about their features. There are some solid features on this plat- platform. I like that you are able to have more than one trader space or storefront. Um, maybe you have different types of services or goods that you are selling and you want to divide them so they're not, not all just kind of mixed together on one uh, one trader space or one storefront there. So I do like that option. Um, <clears throat> I talked a little bit about the messaging system. I like that they have a messaging system built into their platform um, so people can message you right on it. Um, I've seen a lot of success from that on my Etsy shop. People won't necessarily purchase directly from my Etsy shop. They will contact me and commission me to do a work on the side that isn't through Etsy. And so I think having that messaging system there is important. 
Uh, like I said, the statistics are kind of lacking in my opinion. They do give you good statistics for things that you sold, um, but I would like more about more in-depth st statistics about what people are viewing and where people are viewing from, things like that that other websites uh, do provide a little bit more of. Um, as I mentioned before, they don't have a print-on-demand service. I don't think that's a big deal. It's nothing, nothing to be missed. Most times, uh, you're not making much profit from those print-on-demand uh, services anyways, or you have to charge a lot for those products. Um, they do have the ability to follow um, on the website so people can follow you or follow your trader space. And I do like that because it gives it a little bit more of a community feel and that's where you can send out announcements and to your followers and they can receive those announcements directly from you, which is kind of cool. Uh, but overall, like there's obviously features I didn't quite talk about on here, but um, they have they have the features that are needed for a successful website. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about just as an artist. As an artist, personally, I'm happy to be a part of Trader Space. Even though other products and services can be sold, um, I think that can be a positive thing because it can bring more traffic onto the website and allow people to discover your work uh, just purely based on your location, which is kind of cool. Um, Trader Space, in my opinion, it you know it really kind of going back to that location. It pushes the idea that you're purchasing something from somebody, from a creator, instead of just from this company, um, from their platform. So this um, this is good for artists who you know we want to put our face to our work. From speaking with the founders, um, they are hoping to be able to build supports for artists through this platform. I'm going to read a little bit here because I don't want to mess this up. Um, so they want it to be a, to become a community where artists can collaborate and help each other out. Um, this is a good a good thing. <laughs> um, they are currently working on general art group or sorry, currently working with general art groups, art groups focused on the disabled and veteran art groups. And through these groups and programs, they um, with the help of artist ambassadors, they are building education and awareness content to help empower artists to successful art careers. Um, I really hope that this that this works out good for them. Because a lot of these other websites, um, they have a lot of content geared towards just their website. Um, there are a few that will have uh, some content, you know, just general marketing or um, marketing tips or description tips or things like that. But Trader Space is trying to focus a lot on the artists and helping you build a successful art career. And so I'm excited to see some of this content that, that they put out. And I think this is a super positive thing that they can that they can bring towards us. Um, they're also compiling an educational series with a business focus. And so this is, you know, information on how to market your products and much more, which I think can be very useful to many of us. Um, a lot of us who are creatives, we, we love creating things, but sometimes we lack a little bit on the marketing or the business side of things. So I appreciate that Trader Space is trying to help us out in those, um, those parts as well. So as an artist, I'm you know I'm happy happy with the things that they're doing, happy with the things that they're planning to do since they're still very fairly new. Um, uh, one thing I haven't really oh no I will talk about it later on. It's on my it's on my list here. So overall here here is kind of my thoughts. So Trader Space is shaping up to be a solid platform where you can sell your artwork. The fact that a standard account you know with some listings is free. Um, and there's no seller or commission fees almost makes it a no-brainer to try it out. If it doesn't work out, you didn't lose anything but some time. If it does work out, you'll be happy that you tried it. Uh, for being in the beta phase, they, had a lot, they have a lot going for them and are promising more improvements as time goes on. Uh, with the implementation of a solid mobile app, which will be done next year, um, I think um, it can start to outreach other platforms that lack that aspect. Uh, many other platforms their their mobile apps are lacking <laughs> or they just are non-existent so i think if trader space can get a solid mobile app going um, that'll be good for them um, it's important right now to remember that all the trader plus features are free while the website is in the beta phase depending on when you're reading this or watching this video uh, may determine if it is still free or not so just make sure you're checking um, i'm going to try to update this video and when that does change, just so people are aware of that. And if I don't at right on time, I apologize. I'll try to get on that right away. Um, I've talked enough about the map. I don't need to talk any bit more about that. You already know I love that. Um, 
they also have great customer service. So I've been in contact with um, one of the founders now for about a month, and she's been awesome to work with. Um, very personable, if that's a word. Um, I think that is a word. Um, but yeah, very... It's not like you're talking to someone who feels like they're better than you um, because they are you know, running this platform or anything like that. Um, everything has been positive, very quick to respond. And um, one thing that I haven't really mentioned too much now, but I, I think is really important, and one thing that I really like is Trader Space really wants to hear uh, from you as creators and as users of their website. If you feel that there is something that could be improved upon or uh, you have a suggestion for something that you think is missing from their website, they are more than happy to listen to you and consider it, um, if possible, and add it to their website. I've only, I don't think I've ever been in contact with someone um, on a website or just been on a website that allows that dialogue to happen. You know, they really want to build a platform for the creators. Um, if you if you are on any of those other larger platforms such as Fine Art America, Society Six, anything like that, half the time you can't even get a response from their um, from their founders, or it's not even the founders; it's you know the lower people on the totem pole there. But with Trader Space, you can it's just a one step away from the founders. You're able to talk to them directly, message them, and um, it's it's great. I love that fact of this of this platform. As time goes on, I hope it continues to stay that way um, because it makes this website um, just uh, more of a community and it makes it more real for the creators as well, that we're able to have a little bit of a voice and um, hopefully contribute to what we are selling on as well. Um, yeah, I think that is it. So if you are considering selling your art on Trader Space, I would suggest just give it a shot. Try it out. Try out the free subscription. Right now, everything is free anyways, so why not give it, a, give it a shot? Try out the featured artworks, all that kind of stuff, and then you can go from there. If there's anything that you have questions about, you can leave them in the comments below, but also you can find, um, find them and message them on Facebook or on Instagram, and they will be more than happy to answer the questions as well. Um, I don't know everything. I'm just starting out here as well, but I wanted to kind of give my thoughts on Trader Space and... Uh, I, I really wish them the best of luck, and I hope that I can continue to work with them um, as th this website is growing and that we are going from there. So thank you for watching this video. If you haven't checked out my other videos on websites that where you can sell your artwork, I would suggest you check those out. Subscribe to my, to my channel and leave a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time on Brian Sloan Artist.